This is a walkthrough video of 1370 Moon Mist. We're located in Polynesian Gardens here on Siesta Key, and this is one of the few homes on Moon Mist that are directly on the intercoastal waterway. Um, so as you can see, all these homes that you can see are part of Polynesian Gardens. There's, uh, I think, about seven of these homes. That's the last one that are actually on the water. Um, we have a really nice seawall here. I think you can have a dock, but there is not currently a dock for this property. But it is right on the ICW, which is, which is a real benefit. Um, nice paver patio out here. Um, this house is really big, but it has a very odd floor plan. It has 2680 square feet total, I mean under air, and then 4700 square feet total. So I'll start over here, kind of where you would park. Um, the house has not been updated. It has in some respects, but it needs updating. And uh, the roof looks pretty good to start with. Um, where it's located here in Polynesian Gardens, it's basically a big circle. There's two concentric circles with a pool in the center. It's, um, it's located in a great spot of Siesta Key. This has um, a garage, which is very nice, and I'll show you that. Um, but the floor plan is just a little weird. But I think it could be, I think you could do some cool things with it. So you basically walk in here, you don't, sh I mean, even though you're sharing this walkway with that property, it, there's no entrance here. So it is a very private entrance. So we walk in and we have kind of a Mexican tile throughout. And then there is a step down to kind of an odd nautical themed wood floor which is kind of neat with the exposed <clears throat> with the exposed fasteners looks kind of cool um but it's a huge space this is a really big space uh here you have eight and a half foot ceilings um you have eight foot ceilings throughout the rest there's some mirrors that kind of give you that water view i noticed the has old jaloese windows jealousy windows i never can say that correct correctly um and it has this lanai out here and these sliders open all the way up to make it part of the living space this is not air conditioned space but with the doors open they get ceiling fans blowing you know it does it stay you can use it as air conditioned space but it really is a great view um the sliders look to be in good condition I don't think I'd replace those because they are very expensive to replace. So this is kind of a neat room, but to be honest with you, I think I'd open it all the way up and get rid of the slider. I, I, I don't know. I'd have to think about that a little bit. So the kitchen has been updated. Um, it's, a, it's kind of a nice uh, speckly granite here with nice cabinetry. A uh, few little odd oddball things here. It has an island, but then how this refrigerator is situated in here, you got this like extra space, which I don't know why they designed it like that. That's just a little, little quirky. Um, it has a soffit. It has the stove in the island. It has a nice peninsula with a little, with a little sink. And this, this house would be great for entertaining. I mean, you could have a really big party here. Um, Furniture is kind of eclectic and mismatched, but. It, it's cool. So I guess I'll start right here. Um, this is door just goes to the air conditioning system. Here we have a full bathroom with a shower and um, black sink, which is kind of a little dated. As I walk through here, this takes us to one bedroom, which is okay. This is obviously a kid's room. Um, it does have a closet and some Kind of homemade built-in stuff that uh, really needs to have those cabinet doors updated. There's also an access, the attic access is located in this room, which is a little bit odd. And there is carpeting in this room. So now I walk into this master bedroom, which I can't really find the lights for. And this is huge. And it has these beam ceilings. And it has this kind of cut coral fireplace with mantle and you know, weird stuff around. 
Um, but this room is enormous, and that's a giant king-size bed with two end tables, and still there's like a room for another room. So not quite sure how this was originally designed to lay out. And then now we got this closet room with these closet doors and closets all the way around. And then there's another full bathroom here. And this, this bathroom has not been updated. Very vintage 1990, 1980-ish. And um, has a shower. Now this is where it gets really weird. Okay, because we just came out of a bathroom. There's another bathroom over here that is enormous. I mean, this is like, could be another bedroom. It's so big. And it's just got really weird, weird shapes. Like, like that nook and these, like this thing. I'm like, what's going on? I can't, I think that's part of the closet. It's just really kind of funky. Um, and then there's a shower curtain here. And there is a shower, a marble shower, and then a slider. And this, and I just can't quite figure out how this all works because there's another room over here, just like keeps going. So you got this room with a wall AC, you got carpet in here, and I don't know what this room would be. I mean, other than maybe um, a den or something and the switches that don't work, just a little funky. Now this door will take me out to the garage, I assume. And the garage is kind of glassed in and can be opened up with storage, which is nice. One car garage to have the storage is very nice. Um, but yeah, a lot of things need to be done to this, to this house and it's funky, but the price is right for $849 being right on the intercoastal. You got a pretty neat canvas to work with here. Um, I could see doing a fair amount with this, with this space, but hmm, I don't even know where I'd start, to be honest with you. I'm still trying to get, wrap my head around, because now you got another giant closet here. There's the other side of that, and so it's just enormous. So 4,700 square feet total, which includes the garage and that lanai and I guess some of the other space. And I think I got it all. But really what you're getting here is being right on the intercoastal. Um, and that's probably the biggest thing. I didn't even notice this big porthole window. That's actually kind of cool. I kind of like it now that I'm looking at it. Hmm. I don't know. It could be a really cool house. But it is going to take some, some effort to... Bring it, bring it back to standard. So I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. And as always, thanks for watching.